Hello, welcome. My name is Jem and this is Paul. Kia ora. And we thank you for joining us for another Yoga Rhapsody practice. Today we have a yin yang practice lined up for you. Um, a practice that we can move through to honour the new moon and the new energy that it brings. And with a new moon, there is always a new beginning and an opportunity, another chance to kind of bring our life intentions forward. And I often think of our life intentions like these little seeds of energy around or containing the way we kind of want to be and live in this world. So it's not goals or anything that the mind creates, because often with that there's limitations, but this is more of a directional energy. And these little seeds are buried deeply within this inner body, this inner landscape. And I often think of this land like very fertile soil. And it just takes an opportunity for us really to come in and rake around this soil, move it around slightly, and bring these seeds a little bit closer to the surface for us to get a feel of what that energy is. And through our practice, we will use the first half of the practice to do this. And then we'll bring these seeds forward and offer them to the moon and to this energy around us and see what happens over the next month. Once they're out in the universe, we kind of leave it up to the universe then to come in and help these seeds to evolve and to grow while we keep a watchful eye and stay in tune. So, if you're ready, we'll get started. A couple of cushions would be really useful. And if you have a block, that's great. If you don't have a block, then like a, a wide hardback book would be awesome, or something instead of. But we'll just pop that to a side for the moment. And bring yourself to lie down on your mat with your knees bent, your feet out towards the side of the mat and letting the knees come together. I love this shape. It allows us to bring our body weight to the earth. And we get to feel trust on a very basic level. Trust that this earth has us. So as we close the eyes, we allow this trust to resonate through the body. This earth is here to support us right now. But what about the rest of the life that exists around us? Can we trust in the universe? Can we trust in this cosmic energy that we don't necessarily need to know too much about? But we're open to possibility. And then it's there. And then we start to close the eyes. You might even bring the moon, or the image of a moon, to the third eye, to the imagination here. And as you bring this image here, can you start to soften towards the feminine? The dark that we see and feel, not only around us, but within us. A cooling energy slow energy, a nurturing energy, and an opportunity to receive. Let's receive the next few breaths. Watching where the breath rises in the body, and as the breath rises, we allow it to expand, reach out and touch whatever is with us on the inside in these moments. Maybe this breath in helps us kind of move the top soil. Or you might feel the breath arise slightly deeper within this inner earth. And notice how it moves or changes or shifts things. And we'll continue to watch for five breaths. She's got it. She's got everything she 
me, she's an artist, she's all blown back. You're so welcome to stay here or gently walk the knees apart slightly and extend the right leg down your mat. The other knee stays bent. We'll bring our hands just behind the head interlacing your fingers. So a gentle movement just to get things a little looser. And what we'll do is start to point the right toes towards the sky and then point them towards the wall in front of you and can continue to do this with the heel pressing towards the earth but make this movement a little bit faster. So as you do this you might start to feel this little ripple kind of move through the leg into the spine, the neck, the head rocking back and forwards in your hands. Keep that going. You can start out standing, proud to steal anything you should see. And then pause. Just notice what you notice. Maybe this new energy. You will start out standing, proud to steal anything you should see. Keeping your right leg still, let's rock out to the blade edge of the left foot. Rock back onto the sole of the foot and then rock that knee forward so the left butt cheek kind of comes off your mat. And then slowly return. We're going to keep adding on so the knee rocks out, maybe gets a little lower towards the earth on the left side. And then we can bring the knee back to center, bring it over, and this time you might even feel your left elbow hand come off the mat. Feel the weight pour into the right side of the body. And then rock back. And then go a little bit further. Maybe the knee now comes all the way towards the earth on the left. And you might curl around and bring knee and elbow to kind of meet. <coughs> Come back. Rock over. Keep rocking. Press down through the underside of your body and bring knee to elbow to tap here. Let's do two more. Take your time. Don't worry too much about how this happens, what it looks like. We're starting to warm up the lateral sides of the body as well as the core. One more on this side. And then once you come back, let's rest for a moment and swap legs. So same thing, you're pressing down with the left ankle this time, finding that movement back and forth. The heel stays where it is, but the toes are coming back and forward to create that ripple in the body. Notice if this feels fluid, if there's areas of tension or disconnect, just watching with kindness as always. One more breath here. And then we pause once again. We can start rocking out. Just the initial rock forward, but keep off the ground. You are Lower a little further. Come back. Roll over a little further. On this third round, you might lower and meet. Return. Roll over. Press down through the side body and meet. Two more, taking your time. No rush to get there. Allowing things to move and shift. Last one. Really 
million after that last round, we return, bring the soles of the feet together. We'll move things again just by bringing hands underneath the thighs, hands kind of tucked in the knee crease, and you can rock and roll a few times along your mat. I rush together, and then maybe find the momentum to come up. We're going to do that again with a different hand position. So taking left hand, take it under the left leg, wrap the fingers around the right leg or thigh. Other one, again, goes underneath. So it's almost like your wrists cross. Come onto your tiptoes. A little push. And a little push back to roll. Try and keep your shins from flying out too much. And get some rolls in. Creating a bit more warmth, just working a little bit deeper, feeling the core. Finally come up, and from this position, we'll cross the legs. Crossing the legs, take a moment here. Maybe even closing the eyes. Feel the length of the spine, feel the sides of the body. And then cross your hands, and we'll bring left hand to right knee, right hand to left knee. Stay here, but send the left arm to the sky. And let's take a little lean over. We're going to use the sides of the body here. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't know that. Here, we're very much just leaning in. On your inhale, let's come up. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't know Take your arm back on a diagonal, keep the arm straight, let's round the spine as your fingers touch your knee. Inhale, spine extends as you reach back. We'll do that two more times. Spine comes into flexion as you tap. Inhale, extension as you reach back. Last time. Then once your arm is back at a diagonal, can you bend your elbow? And I just want you to reach forward and over with your fingertips. Bend the elbow, feel the spine extend. Reach, feel the spine flex. One more. When the hand's in that direction, it can come to your knee. And then unthread or unravel, take the other arm up and over. Body. We'll turn these muscles on very shortly. We'll warm up the spine by taking the arm back on a diagonal. You might inhale this time and round. Exhale to extend and reach back. And round. And extend. And round. She's got everything she needs. And extend. Elbow bends. Let's reach. Pull back. She's got everything she needs. She's an artist. She don't Two more. Last one. She can take the dark out of the night time. Pick the day. Bring your hands back to your knees. Let the hands come apart. Take a big breath. Okay, so we should start to feel a little warmer now, feel things moving. We're going to come to the wall in a moment, but we have one more movement on the floor. So moving into tabletop position, you'll find your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We're going to start to bring a bit of aliveness now to the sides of the body. In our yoga practice, these lateral bends that we kind of create are often referred to as moon or moon shapes. So we want to bring that into our practice, but before we just kind of lean in, let's get these muscles on board. So all I'm going to ask you to do is extend the right leg out behind you. 
toes come to the floor. And then you can press down through the right hand, maybe take left elbow fingers to the sky. So subtle twists through the spine and the body is on and warm. And then that hand comes down, foot underneath you comes out slightly. The long leg turns, so in step to the floor, press down now through left hand, left knee and reach. We're going to repeat those two movements again. So we come back, find that first position. Press down through right hand, take left elbow, fingers to the sky. Soften, bring it to the floor. Left foot out, right in step to the floor. Press, feel the warmth of the underside below you. to do at the wall before we come into a sequence that will kind of honor the moon. So if you have a bit of wall space, that would be awesome. If you have your block or something um, kind of wide or a little bit higher to stand on, that would be cool, though it's not needed if not. And all I'm going to ask you to do is bring your hands behind your head and come to a bit of wall space. So pressing your head into your hands, pressing down through your feet, I want you to start to feel the left ribs, the lower ribs start to move towards your hips. And as they move towards that hip, left ribs, left rib, hip, you'll start to feel the other side of the body turn on as well as have a wee yawn here. Notice if the top elbows come away from the wall, can you press back, can you press back with your head? Great, and then inhale, come on up. Let's press back and feel the other ribs now lower to that hip on the other side. Elbow presses back, head presses back. And then inhale, come back to center. Let's step away from the wall briefly. Take your block if you've got it. And I'm gonna use my left hand. I know that might look different to you on the screen, just so I don't confuse you. <laughs> I'm gonna bring left hand to the wall and then my right foot to the block. 
That means that the other foot is hovering and the toes can flex towards the shin. Not here for too long, but I want you to feel that floating leg kind of come into the socket and then you'll feel the outer hip of the standing leg turn on. So not only do we want to warm through the upper sides, but we'll feel the lower sides. Floating arm, spare arm can reach up and back slightly at a diagonal. You could send that floating leg back at a diagonal. And then we'll create a movement. So as and when you're ready, I'll show you first, and then we'll move together. And I'm gonna bring the top arm towards the center of the body as I bring the floating leg to kind of meet and touch. But notice how the knee bends. That leg extends as it moves out. The arm moves out. Let's take two more together. So we start to bring a movement within the body that might not feel so linear. So that when we kind of put these life intentions out there, we're reminded that we can step outside the box, maybe fire up different parts of our thinking, our mind. Pause, let's come off. And we'll do this on the other side. So swapping feet, other foot to the block. Press down on the block. Feel the other leg lift. Femur comes into the hip socket. Your spare arm reaches high, slightly back, and we can take the heel of the floating leg back. As and when you're ready, four rounds here. As you bring the arm, it stays straight, but the knee comes to meet and it bends. And then extend again. Keep moving three more times. brings us, I guess, a second chance. So do we notice that we do fall in this linear way of thinking, something that is kind of forward or back? And perhaps that approach doesn't always work for us. So as we reflect, perhaps we have this intention to open the thinking space slightly. Great, coming out of that movement. Come off of your block. A moment just to let things settle. Feel that new kind of body mapping. These new energy signals, perhaps. Electrical pulses, new information, the receptors are open. This moon moon helps us to become receptive to change too. Cool, and then we'll find one end of the mat to wander towards, bringing the hands together at heart space. So we've done the work to feel us kind of in this body. We might feel slightly warm here. This part of the practice now, we have this opportunity wish to take it, to soften towards the moon energy, towards this feminine, towards the dark, towards more of a yin state. And as we do that, we might offer these intentions. So hands come to heart, gazing up, maybe closing the eyes, without having to know what these intentions are, can you become aware of the energy? that draws you towards a longing, a longing of a way of living, of being. We might imagine these seeds at the surface and now start to offer them through the palms of our hands towards the universe. So from hands at heart, feel the palms open, pinkies connect and reach forward. Slowly bring the hands back to heart. Let's show our gratitude as we reach high. 
heart opens, softens towards the moon. Here we are. Bring the hands back to heart. This time as you reach up, interlace fingers, release index finger, and let's take a little lean over towards the right. Press down through the outer edge of the left heel. Bones move up behind you and then rise. I'm a new day rising. Imagine 
imagine yourself holding I'm on. a brand new sky that hangs the stars upon tonight. Gorgeous, let's bring your hands together, interlace fingers, release index finger and lean over one more time to the right. And I, I'm a little divided. Rotate the heart down. Should I stay around? Rotate the heart towards the sky. And then keep following your heart. Just let the feet follow all the way around to the other end of your mat. And it's times like these you learn to live. Come to centre. Hands to heart. And it's times like these you learn to love again. Offer from the heart space. And it's times like these you give. Hands come back to heart. Reach high. It's times like these, time and time again. Interlace fingers, release index finger. This time we are leaning over towards the left. And now you'll feel that first opening through the right side of the body. And you'll notice that we keep coming back towards these leans lateral curve of the spine, creating a crescent within the body, reflecting the moon. Inhale, come back to centre, hands at heart, we'll offer again. Bringing even more intention to this offering of our intention. Bring the hands back to heart. Reach high, one more leap. And these repetitive shapes we take with the spine, reflecting our opportunity, reminding us of the second chance. All these second chances that a new moon offers. Come back to center. Second chance to live the way we want to live. Making changes based on perhaps how we lived through the last cycle. Then the knees fold in. This time, right foot steps back, drop the knee. Walk your hands up through the front leg, thigh, squeeze in the thighs, leg foot. Left arm inside, other arm to the sky. Press as you reach over. Times like these, you learn to live again. And then circle the arm back. And it's times like these, you learn to Reach towards the corner again. of the room. Knee a little further forward. It's times like these, you learn to love again. Bring the hand to your mat, straighten up slightly. And it's times like these, time and time again. Bend the knees so that we can step back. Walking over to the left with your hands round the spine. Feel the curve, sitting bones wide and heart forward. Keep this as you go back towards your heels. Keep your hands where they are. Big breath towards the side of the body. sure that there are no seeds hidden here. Moving the soil, this fertile ground. Coming back to centre. Walk your hands towards your knees, tuck your toes. Find Malasana. I'm the one that drives away and follows you. Elbows to your knees, lengthen the spine. Stay here or reach. I'm a little Soften the elbows, bring the arms back slightly. Just stay your the head back. Leave it all As and when you're ready, feel the power in your legs, the energy response of the earth helping you rise. And it's times like hold the moon. You learn to live again. As you hold the moon, can you become the moon? And it's times like these. 
and give and give and give. Feel her energy, her lights flood the body. When it's times like these, you learn to love again. Another breath here. When it's times like these, time and time again. Arms meet overhead, the last lean to the left. When it's times like these, time and time again. Heart moves towards the earth. Times like the heart revolves to the sky like and follow it around. Those times like these, time, time, again. Keep the chest high as the arms soften beside you. Keep pressing hard towards the moon, maybe gaze up, let the arms dangle. Almost like you have this cord attached. Energy being transferred, you to the moon, the moon to the sun. Times that be to learn live again. The moon becomes part of you, you part of the moon. And it's times like these, we give and give again. We offer all we have in terms of attention. And it's times like these, you learn to love again. You promise to stay awake. It's times like these, time and time again. Send the arms back, thumbs pointing forwards. Bring the head forwards. When the arms can't go back any further, let them come out towards the side of the room. Feel the arms rise like the rising of the moon. All the way up. Until the hands meet. a little closer to the floor. Let's fold our way down. Walk the knees back. And come to sit however is comfortable. Beautiful. Okay. So where we're going to go next is to find a seat on your mat. And it might be so that you're in the middle with um, kind of two long ends beside you. And we can shuffle to one of those ends, perhaps the left end. <laughs> and let's take our pillows if you have them. You're going to place one kind of beside your hips and your knees can just be neatly stacked. You can play with our legs in just a moment. But we keep a little gap between the two pillows. And if you had a block or something that you can just pop underneath one of your pillows, that would be great. If you had a bolster, you could have it long ways here or horizontal. And then I'm going to just make sure that it's the side of my body that comes over this little ramp I've made. And then the arm underneath me is going to extend and I can bring the other cushion a bit closer towards me and kind of puff that up and make it the height it needs to be to be comfortable. The knees can bend, like I said, you might have them a bit further away or closer to you. And then this top arm might just come over your head. So now we start to feel a compression through the side body using the props beneath us and the earth. And if you feel that this is a bit of effort through the top arm, you're welcome just to let that hand rest maybe on your ribs, your hip, wherever it needs to be. But from here, now that we have offered our intention, we're going to come and turn in and just attend to this beautiful body. We bring our gaze in wait to hear for its response what does it need from you perhaps it is just this attention this breath this moon energy and as we soften towards the energy perhaps there is an invitation for this energy to move further in us to move 
further into the moon energy, dissolving the discrete edges of our body. Embodying what we might sense around us. Open your heart to this thing. The bones get heavy. Open your heart, let it see. Lift your breast bone high. Let your love fill the sky. of your face, palm faces down on the earth, and we can press down through that hand to bring you up. No rush to get here, take your time. Maybe a breather in the middle here, before taking your props, swinging your legs around in the opposite direction, and we'll set up and create this shape on the other side. Perhaps your block with the cushion on top close to your hips, your feet going in the opposite direction. Your head prepares to land on the cushion further away. We've got this gap between the cushions to bring that arm forward. Make yourself comfortable. Knees are stacked. Hand can stay on your hip. It can find some floor over your head. Softening the eyes. Energy settle, and then let's drink it in. Open your heart to this thing. Open your heart and let it see. Lift your breast bone high. Let your love fill the sky. Bring your 
sofa. Take a moment at the top. Share all that you found. Take a breath here. Now the intentions clear, my friend. Just follow through. The world will hear if the voice is true. The time will heal the path is yours to choose. So open your heart to this thing. And then you might keep your props where they are, but gently bring your sitting bones to the floor so that your knees are now bent facing up, the soles of the feet on the earth, and see how you feel about lowering back onto these props. You might feel that that is a little bit too much underneath your spine, and if so, come up, take the block away, perhaps try again with just the cushion, if not, take the cushion away and then maybe extend the legs or find a comfortable place with the feet, the legs. They're extended, let the toes fall out, let the palms face up beside you, let the arms slowly or slightly come away from the sides of the body and closing your eyes. Again, just as we did at the beginning, Feel that sense of trust, this felt sense, move through your body. The earth supports you. Can we feel that on a wider scale again and feel the rest of this life, this universe, holding you here, suspending you in space? This conscious effort to release our life intentions. Again, not a goal, but just a directional energy. And although they have been released, we still feel their presence from where they came from within our body. A place where we can return to this soil, tune in, and then be guided from this place outwardly towards the life that is waiting for us. And we're reminded of this feminine energy that is just as powerful as the masculine powerful in a different way. We feel the magic and the loving from the darkness that we often avoid or perhaps have fear of. But here in the darkness, we are reminded of the fertile power and possibility, this place where ideas and creation begins. We feel the power of slowing down so that we stay awake and we stay present, moving through the challenges, allowing us to soften and be more open to change. When we slow down, we recognize that there are other pathways. It doesn't have to be the same path we've always walked especially if that path brings us to roadblocks, to barriers, to closed doors. So we stay awake, open, and encompassing this lunar energy, this feminine. May we now find ourselves in a position where we can receive. 
And we notice the power in that. Receiving this breath, this prana. Receiving the magic that surrounds us. Yet we're safe in this trust that holds us. Let's rest for a few minutes. Take the space to feel the earth beneath you. Just surrender, let it lead you down to a place where all the chatter of the day just leaves you through an open door. Silence asks for nothing more. The calm does not require a storm. This place is yours. This place is yours. Let your mind just rest upon the rhythm of the breath. It will come without a conscious thought. Let yourself be breathed in all the Chatter of the day will fade low within your heart. This is a space where you are always welcome. This space is yours. This space is yours. This space is yours. our breath once again. We become and stay awake to this body, the physical body, the emotional body, the energetic body. And these bodies connection to the life that surrounds us. This body that gives us this human experience of what surrounds us. Reminding ourselves that this body does not cut us off. And we have the opportunity to open up, to receive what we need. And as Rumi reminds us, if we want the moon, 
we must not hide from the dark. Feel the loving darkness that lives here with the eyes closed. This darkness full of potential. From our hearts to yours. Thank you so much for joining us once again. And may your intentions come true. Namaste.